But at the same time, it would feel a bit like a step down for him from Bayern Munich. And that is a, that's a really interesting one. And it's a bit of a risk. Because if Nagelsmann's trying, trying to use in Spurs to try and get Real, then they might get themselves in the same problem again. Right, well, let's bring in uh, Simeon from We Are Tottenham TV. Evening. Good evening, guys. Who do you want? Nagelsmann. He's my number one choice. I think he's young, innovative. He comes with fresh ideas, which maybe we haven't seen for a long, long time since the Pochettino era. He's a progressive manager. He'll bring an attacking style of football, possession-based, quick um, passing. Uh, and that, that's what I think a lot of Tottenham fans want. We're sick and tired of seeing the football that we've seen for the last four years, which is pragmatic, defence first. I, I, at times I get it because of the defenders, but I think we need an attacking manager, and I think he fits the bill. It, when, when you look at the state of the club at the moment, I mean, it, is it a collective responsibility? when you look at the blame? Um, there is collective responsibility. I think ultimately it has to go down from the hierarchy because they have uh, they the, took the decision, Daniel Levy took the decision um, in 2019 to get rid of Richard Pochettino, uh, even though we were in some bad form at the time. But I think he earned the time to rebuild uh, the team, which he had built. And, and that time and I think Daniel Levy took the easy decision in my opinion at the time to sack him and try and get more out of the squad than, than you could have with Jose Mourinho and he subsequently has gone from Mourinho to Conte to, uh, from to Nuno to Conte and it's not worked whatsoever and I think ultimately they have to take responsibility the whole Fabio Paratici um, era was a complete mess um, he, obviously we know he's had to force to resign due to the charges so I think I think the whole um, strategy from top to bottom is a complete mess at the moment. There's a complete lack of strategy. And I think the hierarchy have to take ultimate responsibility. I think the players um, and the coaching staff, of course, have to take their own responsibility as well. But I think ultimately, if you look at the club right now, where we're at, we have no director of football. We have no manager. Our star player, Harry Kane, wants to leave. Anywhere you look for Tottenham fans, it's a complete mess and there's no nothing to cling on to. And we're just looking for some with some hope and we're really struggling to find any. But, but Simeon, um, I mean, are you being a bit wise after the event? I mean, were, were you not excited about Mourinho coming in? As Spurs manager at the me time? personally me personally I thought um, obviously once Pochettino had been sacked we you have to look forward and you have to look beyond that and then at that point yes Mourinho the, with his trophy laden career did excite me but if uh, if well, I if he excited you, you can't then you can't then slam Levy if you know if, if no, he excited no, no, no. you at I'm the time. No, 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 I'm finished. I'm finished, Chris. I'm finished, Chris. Before before Pochettino was sacked, I was calling for Daniel Levy to give Pochettino more time to rebuild. If you look this season, you could argue that Jurgen Klopp um, this season and maybe even a couple of seasons ago has been in worse positions than Pochettino was when he got sacked at Tottenham in terms of league performance, how far they're out the top for all these kind of things. Yet what Liverpool did is they gave him time to rebuild the team and they've gave, given him more play. Players and look at the look at their team now. They've got a fresh new set of attackers. We're still using Kane and Son, who we signed in, who, who he joined in 2015. It's been eight years. We're still using the same players, relying on them. Pochettino needed time to rebuild the team to in in his image. We didn't give him the time. Instead, we took the easy option and we sacked him because we thought we could get more out of that squad, which wasn't capable of doing. And uh, for me, I think he made a big mistake, and we're still paying for that mistake now. So, I mean, if if you were Julian Nagelsmann, and you were 35, you've just, you know, you're still a bit annoyed about losing your job at Bayern Munich, you, you're laughing as Thomas Tuchel keeps losing matches, and it looks like they're not going to win any trophies anymore, so you're kind of in quite a good mood about that, but you're still a bit bitter, you're one of the, the, the most talented managers in Europe, you've been told for years and years and years that you're the coming thing, you've got a, a skateboard that you're taking to training sometimes, would you look at Tottenham and think, that's the job I want? I think you'd. I would have to see it as an opportunity. I think right now, as 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 of today, Tottenham right now is not a club for, to attract someone like Julian Nagelsmann for the simple fact that we don't have a director of football. So how, if Nagelsmann, if we get Nagelsmann in an interview at Tottenham and he says, okay, what's the strategy of your of the football club? What, what, how do you see things? We can't answer that question until we appoint a director of football. We don't know the answer. So that's going to be very difficult. But once we make that appointment, I think, look, there is opportunity here at Tottenham. There's a lot of money. We have the best stadium in in Europe. We have the best training ground in Europe. Um, if we can convince Harry Kane to stay, we have one of the best strikers in Europe. So there is definitely opportunity if we can get things right at Tottenham to build something. And then he can build a leg 
Benfica's in. If he actually wins a trophy with Tottenham, he can see that as an opportunity to be known as one of the best managers in Europe, if not, if he isn't already. But at the moment, I agree. If he's coming into Tottenham for an interview tomorrow, there's nothing much we can say to him to convince him to come. Thanks for coming on, Simeon. Appreciate it. Simeon from no, Real Tottenham TV with us on the Monday Night Club, mnc at bbc.co.uk.